I'm Dr. Manuel Vogt from San Antonio Medical Associates. I'm joined here by our physical therapist, Alina. Hello. And today we're going to briefly talk about uh, one of the common things we see, and that's tension headaches and how posture can kind of relate to that. Um, let's start off with just going by over a few exercises. Uh, Alina? Sure. So posture commonly tends to go in the forward direction because in society we do a lot of things visually. So whether it be driving, sitting at our desk, reading, or texting, and we get that text neck which is becoming a new phenomenon where these muscles become uh, overstretched and then weakening of other posture muscles. So some things that we can do, of course, is to be aware of our posture, improve where we hold our bodies in space, also to strengthen the muscles um, that are getting weakened. So for example, the muscles, if you'll turn your back to me, Dr. Vogt, between the shoulder blades are very important to help keep those shoulders open in the front, the collarbones open at the front, strengthening the, the back of the neck, as particularly just underneath the base of the skull. So Dr. Vogt, reach up into my hand with your ha head, try to grow taller the other way. Yes, like a marionette. So we're trying to open up through here and lengthen the back of the spine and um, allow more space there so we don't get compression on the structures of the vertebrae where the nerve roots come out from our spine. You can turn around. So, some ways to relieve that tension as well as strengthening those muscles and strength stretching our tight muscles are to use two tennis balls taped together. A really easy and, and inexpensive technique. You need a wall, place the balls, one on either side of your spine, using your own body weight to press in, so your amount of, of sensitivity will depend how much you press and just rolling up and down with some pressure. You can go all down your spine, further down your cervical or, or upper, I mean your neck. You can use it in between your shoulder blades at the back, also rolling up and down. Basically places of tension where you get you know, a knot or a hard point within the muscle belly, this pressure from the ball can help to relieve that. You can stay in that place, you can roll a little bit, play with it to help relieve your, your tension. Also using a TENS unit, which is an electrical stimulation unit with two electrodes. For your neck, you'd want to use a smaller electrode. So placing one on either side of your upper trapezius, this is this big muscle here that tends to accumulate a lot of tension from overuse and hunching our shoulders, we get knots or trigger points. Placing them on that trigger point, you can stimulate it to help relieve that accumulated tension. Also, how we sit. People are often sitting at their desk for long periods of time. So Dr. Vogt and I will demonstrate the 90-90 rule. So we want to position ourselves so that our feet are flat on the floor. We have a 90 degree or right angle bend at the ankle, followed by a right angle at the knee, also at the hip. So we'd have to play with the seat height to get that correct angle. This actually looks good for Dr. Vogt. Then elbow rests. We want a 90 degree at the elbow. So if he was working on a computer, we'd want to make sure that the desk height was also at the correct height to maintain that 90 degree angle of the elbow. Then if we come up to the head in relationship to the shoulder and neck, we want a 90 degree angle here between the chin and the spine. So if he's too, looking up too much, we'd need to lower the computer screen down. If he's looking down too much, we'd have to bring it to eye level. So you can play with either the height of your screen or put books underneath or whatever you needed to to change the height. Also with the height of your keyboard so that you maintain that 90 degree angle at the elbow. Thank you very much for tuning in. Remember to stay healthy, San Antonio.